Could the sick housing market finally be getting well again? According to some of the latest figures, home values in the United States grew on a monthly basis for the first time in nearly three years. Our consumer specialist Rick Romero says the figures are even more encouraging for the L.A. area, but we are still a long way from where we were a few years ago. Rick. Well, that's right, Mark. Uh, the housing market recovery is still not certain, but the signs are encouraging, especially for Southern California, where some realtors are seeing multiple offers again on homes for sale. This Studio City home is in the process of being staged so it can look its best when it goes on sale. Realtor Monty Eisman hopes it will sell as well as his other properties have most recently. There's been a lot more people at the open houses, a lot more people at the open houses. We've had multiple offers and some of the properties that have gone very close to asking actually sell over asking, which hasn't happened in a few years. And it's not just Monty Eisman's properties that are selling well. According to the latest figures from the California Association of Realtors, home sales in Los Angeles County jumped over 30% in June. That's compared to one year ago. It may be that prices have fallen so much that good value is getting buyers to sign on the dotted line. Even so, home prices are on the rise slightly. According to the latest Case-Shiller Index report, national home prices are still down from a year ago, but they are up a half percent from April to May. And in Los Angeles, the figures look even more promising. The median price of an existing single-family home in Los Angeles last month was $319,860. That's up 2.1% from $313,270 the previous month, according to the California Association of Realtors. An encouraging sign to realtors. And the most encouraging part about it is the appraisals are actually coming in over the sales price, which has not happened in years. And well, that's great. And, and why is <laughs> that? That means happening? the banks are, are feeling a little more confident about our economy in general. Meantime, home improvement stores are not so sure the housing market is turning around just yet. Sales of new construction and home improvement products have declined. However, Lowe's and Home Depot are seeing higher sales in paints and stains, a sign homeowners are willing to spruce up their homes and that foreclosure home repairs may still be driving the home improvement market. And most experts agree these latest numbers are good news and may be a sign of recovery, but those experts also believe this is only a couple months of data. So it will likely take a few more months to see if we have indeed turned the housing market around. And remember, prices today are only at the level they were in 2003. Mm -hmm. Michelle and Mark, back to you. Okay, Rick, thanks a lot.